Question of the day. Would it be cheaper if you bought a set of tooth cards, made molds of them, sprinkled tooth shade acrylic into the molds instead of buying the cards of teeth each time? Hey, Faye Velcher, congratulations on becoming a CDT. And to answer your question in this video, I am not only going to create a acrylic tooth from nothing, I am also going to put it into an invisible retainer Yes, in all about five to 10 minutes. At the end of this video, I'm gonna give you a comprehensive evaluation of whether this technique is good or not. And remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And there'll be new Orthodontic Lab videos every Tuesday, 12 Eastern Standard Time. And let's get busy with this one. This one's gonna be a challenge. Hey everybody, sorry for bothering you. It takes me hours to make these videos. Is it possible that you can tell me who you are, what you do for a living, why you watch these videos, possibly what you want to see in the future? Are you a student, orthodontist, um, orthodontic technician, an expert, a novice, a wannabe orthodontic technician? Please let me know. Thanks for your time and thanks always for watching these videos. So here's this week's challenge patient walks in and they're missing a tooth. And guess what? You don't have a tooth. Well, in this video, I'm going to teach you a little bit of a secret on how you can uh, solve this little problem. I simply took Faye's advice and made a duplicate of an old lateral pontic tooth. I'll actually make another video on how I actually made molds for these teeth. In this video, I actually challenge myself to make it pour up a tooth, a denture tooth, place it into the retainer, set the tooth, shoot the invisible acrylic down on it, and make an invisible retainer all in a couple minutes. So could it be done? Well, let's begin. The very first thing I'm gonna do is make my tooth. I use a salt and pepper method, pretty simple, just using shade A1 tooth acrylic, tooth shade acrylic, and clear monomer. I'm just going to fill up my little mold that I already created. After I'm done doing this, in the pot it goes, 20 pounds of pressure at 165 degrees, that's my water temperature, and in this case I just dip it right into the water. That way I want it to cure in under a minute. Alright, you take your tooth out of the matrix that you just set up. And you set it. Take out the cervical. Take out some more. Now this tooth is hard. And under about, I don't know, a minute. Probably the hardest part is setting teeth. Make it look natural. where the Invisacryl will suck down on it, where your invisible retainer will suck down on it. Next step is to wax it in. Now 
that's okay if it goes over. This way I can move it. That's actually a little too much. With this type of wax I'm using, you just need a little bit to hold in place. Just a touch. So when I made this video, I honestly thought it wasn't going to work. I thought that the tooth would be terrible looking. I, I didn't know what to expect. I just thought it wasn't going to work. I was pleasantly surprised. So benefits. This is the most cheapest way to make a tooth possible to put into an invisible retainer. It is absolutely priceless practically. You're just paying for the acrylic for two shade acrylic. So with that, bonus. Is it simple to make a mold? Absolutely, it took me a minute. Is it simple to make a pour up a tooth? Absolutely, it took me another minute. Um, the tooth was hard as a rock after one minute and I was able to trim it, put it into place and um, you see what the results look like. I'm, I, you can't tell the difference. I can tell you right now, you cannot tell the difference what it looks like if you had a real plastic Vita, uh, $18 tooth versus this priceless tooth. But there is no translucency in this tooth at all because if you know that when you're working with two shade acrylic, there's no, it's just this solid color uh, acrylic. It's acrylic. Was it hard enough? Yes, it was. I, I felt it was hard. I was able to drill on it. You saw what I was doing. If you took a Vita shade guide or you took a Bioform shade guide and you looked at A1, with my tooth that I made, it's a little bit, it's, the color is just, just a touch off. So, with that being said, if a doctor's not picky and just says, put a tooth in this retainer, this, I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'm honestly gonna do it because it was perfect. But if the doctor says, I need a shade B66, it has to be B66 for this patient. No, you're gonna simply order a tooth. You're gonna allow the time if you have to order it. Don't try this technique. 
But if you're looking for just basic fillers, it's good. And the question that you might want to know, check this out. You can also make other teeth too, molars, premolars. So, so see you next week. Hope you enjoyed this video. I, I kind of enjoyed making it. I like trying something new and something that actually works that you're not expecting. So it's pretty cool. Take it easy.